EPICS is a public-private partnership, and it stands for Electrified Processes for Industry Without Carbon. Uh, it is uh, the Department of Energy's seventh Clean Energy Manufacturing Innovation Institute, and um, it seeks to um, uh, improve and maintain U.S. competitiveness in the manufacturing sectors in an environment where uh, carbon emissions is becoming more of an issue. And uh, we, we propose to achieve this through uh, developments of technologies for electric heating, replacing currently fossil-based heating, and training the workforce that's required to deploy this in industry. In the steel industry, natural gas is widely used as a combustion fuel, and of course it has a large CO2 footprint. Our goal is to look at technologies that allow us to convert those conventional technologies of combustion with natural gas to other technologies based on electrification. It is essential that we address the carbon emissions as well as some of the social ills that have resulted from our approach to industrialization in the past uh, because of climate change. People are feeling the effects right now with severe weather events. Uh, currently, the flooding that's happening in Vermont is an example, plus um, the droughts that are happening in the Midwest and other locations are a result of the emissions from climate change. EPIX will focus on the electrification of U.S. manufacturing sectors that have the highest CO2 emission rates namely chemicals and petroleum refining, steel production, cement, forest products, and pulp and paper, and food and beverage. Our technologies span three key areas, which are modeling and optimization of electric heating technologies, techno-economic analysis, and technology demonstration. The problem, or the challenge, is there's an ever-growing worker and skills gap projected to grow from roughly 800,000 to today to over 2.1 million by 2030, according to a study by Deloitte. This gap could cost America upwards of $1 trillion in gross domestic product. Epix will join other manufacturing entities to address this growing gap. Right now, you've got uh, heavy industry that's very focused on fossil fuels for their processes, namely uh, for the thermal component that is required to manufacture all the commodities that we depend on for our modern way of life. And if you are swapping out those thermal technologies for uh, electric technologies and finding uh, ways to generate electric heat and change the way fundamentally that we think about manufacturing our commodities, and you pair that with clean energy, then you've effectively achieved an end-to-end -end decarbonization, both of the power sector and of the industrial sector as well.